China's hydrogen-powered bicycles are experiencing unprecedented popularity, with 1 million units selling out in under an hour. While electric bicycles are commonplace, have you ever encountered a hydrogen-powered bicycle? China's Yang Gangsing manufactured hydrogen bicycles are making significant global waves. With features like low carbon, eco-friendliness, efficiency, safety, and an unlimited range, these bicycles have successfully penetrated markets in Europe and America. Yang Gangsing's hydrogen-powered bicycles, the first consumer-grade mass-produced models in China, are now officially available. Initial launch cities, including Suzhou, Kunshan, and Changshu, have garnered widespread attention. This hydrogen-powered bicycle utilizes a magnesium-aluminum alloy structure, weighing approximately 27 kilograms with a top speed of 42 kilometers per hour. Solid-state hydrogen storage technology ensures safety and environmental friendliness. The 0.7-liter hydrogen storage tank supports continuous riding for 2.5 hours, covering a range of 55 kilometers. The working principle involves a complex electrochemical reaction in the hydrogen gas generator built into the vehicle, providing power. Speed is controlled by the rider through pedal action. A notable feature of this bicycle is its intelligence. Equipped with GPS positioning, IoT communication, information collection, and processing technologies, it achieves intelligent perception, interaction, and big data services. The digital operating platform allows tracking and digital management of hydrogen levels in each bicycle. When hydrogen is running low, information is sent to the back-end operations center, and clean maintenance personnel promptly provide refueling services. During each refueling, the system conducts quality safety checks, ensuring further safety. Additionally, the hydrogen engine's fuel cell can be recycled and reused after its life cycle ends, with a material recovery rate exceeding 80%, demonstrating environmental sustainability. Moreover, as it does not use traditional lithium batteries, the hydrogen-powered bicycle eliminates the need for charging, making it safer compared to traditional electric bicycles. Currently priced at 12,800 yuan, the hydrogen-powered bicycle includes five years of free hydrogen services covering 26,000 kilometers, along with 500 free refueling and maintenance services. Refueling is remarkably convenient, taking only 10 seconds to complete. This efficiency stands out compared to traditional electric bicycles, which require hours of charging. Furthermore, the widespread adoption of this hydrogen-powered bicycle has facilitated the rapid expansion of hydrogen refueling stations. Despite being relatively unknown, Yang Gangsing introduced the shared hydrogen-powered bicycle Y200 last year, deploying a thousand bicycles in Changzhou and two thousand in Shanghai Lingang. The Y200 boasts a total range of about 70 kilometers and a top speed of 42 kilometers per hour, with a charging fee of 2 yuan for 20 minutes. Yang Gangsing started laying the groundwork for small-scale fuel cell production lines, including hydrogen production, storage, and fuel cells five years ago. Operating since October last year, these facilities have an annual production capacity of 50,000 units, expected to reach full capacity by early this year. The company is continually expanding both small and large fuel cell production, demonstrating its early commitment to hydrogen technology. Concerning hydrogen production costs, the current selling price is around 50 yuan per kilogram. One production method involves solar power electrolysis of water to produce hydrogen, where the cost is determined by solar power generation costs. With the development of the photovoltaic industry, it is anticipated that within the next three years, the selling price of hydrogen per cubic meter will fall below 3 yuan or 35 yuan per kilogram. This reduction is expected to promote the popularity and development of hydrogen-powered bicycles and other hydrogen industries. In January 2018, France's Pragma Industries launched the Alpha, a hydrogen fuel cell-powered bicycle. 
Last year, this hydrogen fuel bicycle was listed and sold in France, the United States, Spain, Germany, and other countries, with approximately 1 million units sold. The sales targets include bicycle rental operators, courier companies, and municipal departments, making it the world's first commercially produced hydrogen-powered bicycle. The Alpha is relatively expensive, priced at around 7,500 euros, equivalent to more than 52,000 yuan. However, the company plans to have the price. Even so, it remains twice as expensive as Yang Gangsing's model. Some even argue, in the field of new technology, the United States and Japan have completely lagged behind China. As an innovative mode of transportation, hydrogen-powered bicycles provide users with a unique new energy drive system, offering a more environmentally friendly and efficient way to travel. Compared to traditional electric bicycles, hydrogen-powered bicycles not only charge faster and have longer ranges but also offer more convenient hydrogen storage and supply. The rise of this emerging market is poised to change people's travel habits and potentially have a significant impact on the traditional electric bicycle industry. So, can hydrogen-powered bicycles truly replace electric bicycles in the future? Let's delve into the details and understand hydrogen-powered bicycles together. As the name suggests, hydrogen-powered bicycles use hydrogen gas as their energy source, with the battery being a hydrogen fuel cell. During operation, an electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen in the battery generates electricity, providing auxiliary power for cycling, even when pedaling manually. This makes it much easier and faster than regular bicycles, with a top speed of up to 23 km per hour. While regular bicycles typically have speeds ranging from 12 to 20 km per hour, and shared electric bicycles have a maximum speed of 20 km per hour, hydrogen power is the key indicator. Bicycles equipped with a hydrogen rod and a mini solar-powered hydrogen refueling machine only require 100 milliliters of water and one unit of electricity to fill the hydrogen rod with 200 liters of hydrogen, enough to support a run of 50 to 60 kilometers. The 0.39-liter solid-state hydrogen fuel cell can achieve a range of 40 to 50 kilometers using low-pressure hydrogen storage technology. The manual refueling process takes only 5 seconds, providing speed, cost savings, effort savings, strong endurance, short refueling time, and convenient use. These advantages make it stand out, but what about safety, the most critical concern? In response, relevant researchers have decisively replied that the biggest advantage is safety. This is because they use low-pressure solid-state hydrogen with hydrogen stored in the fuel rod. Even if the fuel rod is thrown into a fire, there is no problem. Each hydrogen-powered bicycle undergoes thorough tests before market launch, including pressure resistance, high temperature resistance, fire resistance, and impact resistance, ensuring complete safety. It is much safer than conventional electric bicycles. While hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles have many advantages, the current scarcity of hydrogen refueling stations in China may lead to situations where hydrogen-powered bicycles cannot be refueled. Additionally, the pricing is a critical reason why hydrogen-powered bicycles cannot replace electric bicycles in the short term. According to insiders, the current price of a hydrogen-powered bicycle is around 80,000 yuan, a price that can already buy a car. It is unlikely that an ordinary family will accept such a high price for a hydrogen-powered bicycle. The current prices of electric bicycles on the market are mainly around 3,000 yuan, with a difference of tens of times. This makes it challenging for hydrogen-powered bicycles to gain popularity domestically in China. Therefore, from the current perspective, hydrogen-powered bicycles cannot replace electric bicycles. Perhaps it will take a leap in technology and a reduction in prices before confidently claiming the replacement of electric bicycles. For consumers, purchasing an electric bicycle remains a suitable choice at present. Looking ahead, what are your thoughts on the future prospects of hydrogen-powered electric bicycles? That concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please click subscribe.
See you in the next episode.